The Animaniacs is a show everyone can get behind. Well, you know the name and the characters, there was a certain incident back when it was revealed to the world, and it's something almost no one even knows about. So, Yakko Warner, he's like the brother in charge, always talking directly to the audience and feeling the most relatable. I want you to find someone out there who isn't a fan of Yakko, and uh, you're gonna be looking for a long time. Anyway, he was involved in something that happened in the early 90s, back when Animaniacs was first being introduced on TV. To know the details of this story, we have to head on over to the Cartoonatics blog, which is from series creator Tom Ruger. He shows off a wide variety of content, and while not frequently, he still manages to get his stuff across to a small, but dedicated follower. In 2011, he posted something with the title of Yakko on the Warner Bros. Studio Water Tower 1993, which may have captured the average viewer's attention. The post itself was small, but it detailed one of the most obscure stories surrounding the Animaniacs. To announce the premiere of the show, they decided to put this inflated balloon replica of Yakko on top of the real-life water tower. What you're looking at right now is potentially the only proof of its very existence. While it seems like an awesome way to get everyone's attention and to let the world know that the Warners are here, there was a catch. Bob Daly, the guy who ran the studio, had no idea something like this was going down. He saw the figure from a distance, and it had sort of a resemblance to Mickey Mouse. Mickey is obviously one of the biggest competitors to Warner Bros, so he immediately connected the dots and thought this was some kind of prank. Because of that, Yakko would be on top of the tower for less than half a day. This was a fun few hours of excitement for a brand new show, but it actually led to something interesting. You know how Bob Daly just assumed it was Mickey? Well, see Seems like that encounter actually led to a small character design change that would last a lifetime. Some of the earliest versions of Yakko looked like this, and for the most part, it's how you know him. But, sometime after being mistaken for Mickey, Yakko gained an extra tuft of hair on both sides of his head. They're tiny and may not seem like much, but it does help set the character aside from Mickey. Since Yakko wasn't on top of the water tower for a long time, it seems like aside from a few people, this day has gone completely forgotten. And hey, if you're wondering about the current status of the balloon, Tom answers that question as direct as he can in the comments. It popped. Rest in peace, Yakko Balloon. Your time in this world was not long, but you will never be forgotten. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.